do you know anything about concurrent hash map it is used in multi threading environment right yeah concurrent hash map is it will uh, change its uh, value dynamically if you are uh, if more than one user are occurring that hash map according to the user's request uh, it will give the uh, it will change its key value pass i think so do you know there is a method called gc so what GC. is the purpose of that so we can get the memory dump of a thread from, from gc thread dump by gc method i don't remember exactly and i'm confused between garbage collector and gc uh, thread dump i mean oh, sorry gc is for different purpose gc is for is a method yeah gc is related to garbage collector yeah. uh, so garbage gc garbage collector dot uh, there is one method so through which we can just request a garbage collector to yeah. we have the memory but we can't force uh, so yeah. it uh, totally depends on the garbage collector whether to free up the memory or not yeah it will give the message to jvm that uh, you can garbage collect but it won't uh, yes. you can't force it there the, is no the guarantee request that can be rejected also be. if jvm is not free uh, what type of design patterns you have used design patterns like a crystal behavior a structural design pattern we are going to use Crystal is like some uh, creating the object. Singleton is there, or session factory is there, or like you are going to factory, you are going to define on that. And the structural some like a chain responsibility or proxy related. So that things we are going to use on that. So have you used uh, directly used proxy design pattern or uh, have you created itself in your project anywhere? Yeah, we are created the proxy design pattern. We are going to create it on that somewhere like. Uh, our some like a URL like if we are going to flip flop concept we are going to use at that time like a multiple URL we need to provide for the host so there is a, like we are going to use uh, proxy means what like proxy means like we are going to provide you some replica of that the original application to use that things means like a, some access related things we are going to provide. There are two types of database, right? It can be NoSQL and can be SQL database. So, which type of database you will prefer with banking domain project, and which type of database you will prefer with telecom domain project? For banking domain, actually, security should be the priority, right? We have to use the data, which should be, you know, should not be go to the external environment, and we have to take care of the security is the primary, you know, concern for them, and we have to follow most of the security principles into it. it. And yes, telecom is also yet we have to, but yes, but, but in banking, like most of the so, if we use a, C, a SQL databases, then uh, we have basically a schema is already like we have to define and right. So like it's completely depends. I could say if the requirement is in such a way like in SQL databases, like the schema is uh, is already uh, defined, right? Which is defined and for complex uh, structure, yes, we have to use the database. Cases like uh, where uh, have you done writing test cases? Yeah, we are using JUnit for controller classes only, but few services class we are trying to do it. But all the services class we are not achieving it. But uh, like we are using the Mockito actually. So Mockito what is the use classes. of are... Mockito? Yeah, like injecting mock data, like instead of doing hard coded right. So Mockito will like, have uh, so many uh, default mocks right. So we can use that. So suppose from your back end you have a JSON object and you need to have this JSON object and convert it into a JavaScript object to use it in your web page. So can you tell me the whole process? I can convert it to JavaScript. We can say first we have to make uh, JSON is in modules. If we can say we can convert JSON object with the help of an, uh, some methods, uh, JavaScript object. Into, uh, we need to do the parsing, parsing JSON string to do the the JavaScript object first JSON becomes a, a factor serialization format to the REST API. So it's used the same annotations like in JavaScript. Externally, we can say we have to do the first we have to pass with the JSON string some constant loop to JSON parse. We can convert then uh, means we use the types in constant something we can do. Suppose we have to do the parsing, so we can do the constant uh, JSON dot parse with for a JavaScript. JSON to JavaScript, then JSON string, we can pass our variable in that. We can uh, print that it will convert the JSON to JavaScript. In which type of frameworks you have worked? I worked on the React for uh, UI development. So in the UI, in the React, I have used the Bootstrap, Bootstrap 4, and then some uh, style, styling and all. 
CSS, then okay. writing the HTML and all for my uh, UI. What? Okay, so suppose if we have a method which iterates over a collection, any collection, mm -hmm. and uh, we want to remove certain element from the same collection, uh, and inside that loop we are trying to create a criteria. If it is matched, then we will remove the element from the collection. So how do we like code this mm -hmm. scenario? You want to okay, you you have this terribly, and based on some criteria, you want to remove some of the elements of that. So for that, you have the remove method present. So you can call that remove method at what you actually want to remove. And even the Java it also those kind of streams like the collection stream dot remove, and then in black you are putting some conditions. If condition is waiting, then you are like in those rows, and then you can have some terminal operations to collect the data. If we directly use the remove method, then it will throw concurrent modification exception. Mm -hmm. So either way is use Java 8 or one more way is uh, if you are not using Java 8 then you can also use iterator. So iterator won't throw concurrent modification. I mean iterator remove methods right. won't uh, throw concurrent modification exception because it's, okay. it knows yeah. that you are iterating the same. Yes, yes, right. Do you have any, any knowledge of any kind of uh, design pattern? In Hibernate, let's say we have a proxy design pattern. In let's say Spring Boot application, we have a session factory. Sorry, session that's not a application contact that is also a factory. And yeah, in Hibernate, we have session factory as well. Yeah, I have knowledge about only these factories. When we say that uh, the streams, we are not storing element, we just iterate them or perform some operations on them. So, what is the meaning of not storing element in stream? Is stream it in like the memory? Basically st uh, st so yeah it's in the memory but then what happens is like uh, when you are, you are doing some operation on a stream it does not modify the original exactly it simply produces you some other output any result actually and then like you have create some another stream some another collections actually to collect it out you are not modifying the original source unless like collections where you have like a uh, limited size actually and then you iterate over them do you know the concept of concurrent hash map Yes, yes, concurrent hash map. In concurrent hash map, uh, you can lock uh, some portion of the map. Uh, concurrent uh, hash map does not allow any, any null key and uh, null value, but you can lock the some portion of the map. And suppose uh, 15 uh, thread is running simultaneously and you want to access only 5, then you can lock that portion some portion is it possible to override uh, or overload a static method java uh, you can do that but uh, you override you cannot uh, tell that is override but you can write but it is called method hiding there is one interface which is introduced in <coughs> java 8 which is function interface so what yes, is the yes. difference between a normal interface and a function interface like functional interface is mainly uh, defined for enabling functional programming in Java. In functional interface, only one abstract method will be there. And it also can have default and static methods and also final and static variables. And if you want to enforce that uh, it, the interface should have only one abstract method, then you need to use one annotation called at functional interface. So suppose uh, if I don't use that annotation, what will happen? You can also declare uh, more abstract methods inside that uh, interface. Also, I will get compile time error if I don't use that. If I add more than one abstract method, then that time I will get compile time error that you have declared this method as a functional interface and you are using more than one abstract method. Yeah, like when you declare with a functional interface annotation and if you are adding more abstract methods, definitely you will get compile time error. Can you tell me what is the use of form.xml file in Maven apart from dependencies? Apart from dependency, basically it used to queue dependency and also used to provide some configurations like exclude part or something like that you can provide in the form.xml and you can also maintain the version of your chart file. That way you can maintain your version as well, your distributed file. 